Islam envisions a cycle of peace. Human beings at peace with the Creator and all that God has created. Islam calls on people to love their neighbors, communities to respect others, governments to foster justice for everyone. But sometimes human beings refuse God's call, or communities act in fear of others, or governments act unjustly. Every faith tradition calls us to peace and inspires us to new beginnings when we fall short. But what about those who justify their violence by their religion? A young man belonged to a faith community but was radicalized online. He wrote a manifesto, killed nine people, and wanted to inspire others to continue a cycle of violence, claiming God was on his side. Dylan Roof was a Christian. We know his terrible actions do not reflect what Jesus taught because we know Christians. We don't trust the KKK to speak for Jesus. We should not let criminals speak for Islam. Instead, we should look to the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad and the Quran. The Prophet Muhammad said, You will not enter paradise until you believe, and you will not believe until you love each other. Shall I show you something that, if you did, you would love each other? Spread peace between yourselves. Likewise, the Quran teaches Muslims how to respond when they are harmed. The good deed and the evil deed are not equal. Repel evil by that deed which is better, and thereupon the one who is an enemy will become as though he was a devoted friend. The Quran further asserts a powerful message about the oneness of humanity and the mandate to do good. O humankind, we created you from a single pair of a male and a female, and made you into nations and tribes that ye may get to know each other, and not that ye may despise each other. Verily the most honored of you in the sight of God is the one who is the most righteous of you. Violence exists among people in all traditions. It is a human problem. Amplified in the world today because of colonialism, power dynamics, politics and foreign policies, hopelessness, loneliness, and more. The biggest threat of mass violence on U.S. soil is actually from white supremacists, and American Muslims are more likely than other faith groups to reject attacks on civilians. Islam continues to call Muslims to participate in a cycle of peace. As the Prophet Muhammad said, the best of people are those that bring most benefit to the rest of humankind. He further taught that there is a reward for serving any animate living being. Let's work together to answer this call to bring benefit to society and serve humanity together. Please check out our links in the YouTube description.